everyone out there in YouTube land. My name is Tamika, and I am an atheist. Um, I have been out as an atheist for probably about 10 years now. Um, yeah, I think it's been about 10 years now. Um, as a black woman who lives in the South, um, I know I'm supposed to be like this very religious person who goes to church and prays and do all of that stuff. But that's just not me. Um, so I guess I'm really just making this video to come out to the world and to maybe dispel some of the negative stereotypes about atheists and about people who live in the South. Um, I stay in Florida. Um, ever since I was little, I've always known that there has been just something wrong with the concept of a god or gods. Um, I come from a very religious family. My grandfather is a pastor and all of my aunts and uncles are all like deeply in the church. Um, deacons, missionaries, ushers, they sang in the choir. I grew up singing in the choir. I grew up doing all of that stuff. Um, but I've always been kind of the rebel of the family, not in like a bad way, but I just refuse to conform. So, um, um, a while ago, um, I was really like, I was lost and, um, I just needed to find myself in this, find my way in this world because I was just so confused. And so, I needed like something to grasp onto. I was going through a really bad depression. So um, I started uh, trying to get closer to God. That was basically my mission of the whole thing. So um, I actually started to read the Bible from the front to the back. And some of the things that I was reading in the Bible just it really disgusted me I was I was literally sick to my stomach the misogyny that I saw in there was breathtaking um, the murders that were done on behalf of this God that just sickened me to my stomach even like Babies weren't even exempt from being murdered in the Bible by this all-loving and all-knowing God. It just disgusted me. And most of it was done for silver and gold. This is, by, this is the book of Joshua. It was when I got to that book, it was just, it was done. I was, it was done for me. Um, I became sick to my stomach. I could not believe that for all this time I was literally praising this, that nastiness in the Bible. It was totally disgusting. I thought back to my childhood on some of the, some of the songs that we used to sing. There's one about, um, Jericho marching around the city and the walls came tumbling down I had no idea that I was literally singing a song about war and destruction where babies and stuff died. So that kind of put me on my path to um, atheism that started my path. And I know some people out there, oh, if the Bible made you an atheist, that's stupid. But I mean, it's what started me on the path. Like, that's what started me on the path. I always knew something was wrong, but the Bible just kick-started everything. Um, so I kind of felt guilty about having those feelings and everything. I, my depression didn't get any better. It actually got worse after that. 
And so I actually started like hanging around with some atheists and talking to atheists online and everything. And one of my close friends was an atheist and I worked with a guy who was out as an atheist. So I would talk to them about certain things and they really shed a lot of light and they really enlightened me. And so after a while after that, I made the hop from um, agnostic to I was just full-blown atheist. Um, I started reading a lot of books, reading up on science and, you know, just and thinking about just common sense things that I probably should have been thinking about when I was calling myself a Christian. Like, you know, a lot of the natural disasters and destruction and the hunger and the war. Why would any just and loving God allow any of that to happen? So, I finally came to the conclusion that don't think that there is a God. So now 10 years I've been an atheist. It hasn't been that easy because I've lost some really good friends. Um, I, my one friend that we've been friends since elementary school, as um, soon as I came out to her, she just started speaking in tongues. She started crying, saying that I was going to mess up her journey with the Lord. And I haven't talked to her since, since that day. That was years ago so um this is the face of an atheist i um let's see a little about me um i work in the software industry i've been doing that for about eight years now um started off as a software tester and now i am um transitioning for like the last three years i've been transitioning to more of a business analyst role. I absolutely love what I do. It's awesome. Um, I volunteer. Um, I donate blood. I don't eat babies. Well, I haven't had a baby in a while. Um, <laughs> and um, I'm not angry at your God. That's no. That, that is one misconception that a lot of people have about atheists, that we're angry at God or angry at religion. No, I'm not angry at, um, I don't want to sound condescending, I'm not angry at your God. To me, it, it, he's fictitious. I don't believe in him. So I can't be angry or hate something that I feel that doesn't exist. I'm not a devil worshiper because I don't believe in him either. And it's not just the Christian religion that I don't believe in. I don't believe in any of them. So the only reason that I was parading around as a Christian is because I was born in America and my whole family was Christians. If I was born in any other country, it's most likely my religion would have been totally different. So, yeah, this is the face of an atheist. Um, coming out and being an atheist, it really like, it caused a lot of hardships as far as it goes with people. But for me, I just felt like this big weight lifted off of my shoulder. I just, I felt wonderful. Um, I feel like nothing is holding me down. Um, I am now responsible and hold myself accountable for all of the decisions that I make and all of the things that happen in my life. I don't have a crutch such as the devil. I don't have, I can't blame anything on him or sit around and pray and wait for things. I have to go out and I have to get it done. Um, yeah, so I don't know why I made this video. I just really wanted to. I've been reading a lot of stuff lately about how atheists are just angry. I'm not angry. I'm not angry at religion. Well, some things that religious people do I am angry about. I don't feel like... Our laws should be based on your religion. Keep your religion out of our laws. Don't tell someone who they can or can't marry because you don't agree with it. If you're not following every single thing that it says in that book, then you have no right to try to spout it to anybody else. That same goes for Christians, Islamics, whatever. Catholic, I don't care what denomination you are. So... This is the face of your atheist, and I 
will answer anybody's questions or anyone who has any questions about me and atheism. <laughs>